It's pack and ship time. I've got four bowls and one very large glass lamp. What was I thinking when I bought this huge lamp? Hi everyone, I'm Vicki with Vante Avenue. Welcome to our channel. Yes, today it's a pack and ship video. Four crate and barrel bowls and one large round lamp. I had to get creative with that one. Yeah, I did. Keep watching, I'll show you. Simple sales for good profit. Let's go find those bowls. I wish I could have videoed for you, but we just had a sale come in and we, what we do when we have a sale is what, Mark? Woohoo! <laughs> All right, Mark's gonna help me get these four bowls down. Yep, so for these, for full asking price, that came in last night. Be careful, it's a second set. I think these are a good will find. These bowls are Crate and Barrel. Crate and Barrel stacks, as you see, S-T-A-X-X, -X, a low bowl white salad plate, stackable. I think you're gonna be surprised what they sold for. I'm very excited about this. $99.95, full asking price. Yes, they did. Four bowls that I got at the Goodwill for about, I think, $3.99. So $99.95 plus shipping plus tax. The buyer paid $119.14. They're going to Ann Arbor, Michigan, so let's get them packed really well. Let's see what we're dealing with here. This is the bowl. Here's the label on the back. This one has the original tag. They don't all have the original tag. I'm gonna use this foam wrap. I love this foam wrap. You know that. It's one of my favorite things that I started using this year. I'm pushing it to the side and going to tape it down. This regular tape is not going to hurt anything on these bowls. And then, I really don't know how much space I have in the middle, but bring this. I'm going to cut this into four pieces. One sheet of small bubble wrap. And I'm going to place one sheet, one quarter, I should say one quarter of the bubble wrap in the bottom of the bowl. Sorry about the glare, it just happens when it's white and bubble wrap. Then, let's see. That feels pretty good, but let's wrap this bowl. Using another square, and I find this easiest to do if I just put a little tear at the top and then pull it off. Let's just go ahead and get the other ones ready. And luckily I have more in my storage area. All right, let's do this one. Get nice and centered. Let's put a little square of bubble wrap in the center. And now let's stack these and see how it feels. It feels really good, nice and cushy. Let's switch these around. There's a little square bubble wrap. I'm putting bubble side facing up. We have two down, let's stack them. Now we have three. And we have four done. Looking really good. Now, this is the one, the top one, where I need to fill this void. Void meaning this open, hollow area. I need some bubble wrap for that. So I'm taking another sheet of the large half-inch bubble wrap that I always use, filling this hollow area. I have to remember, I have a box that I'm using that's eight inches high. But I have three sheets, three, one direction of the large half-inch bubble wrap. And you can find a link below this video for all my bubble wrap and the things that I use on a regular basis. I've got two sheets going the opposite direction, holding those in, holding this up. And before I go any further, I, I want to check the height of this, make sure I'm not getting too carried away. Oh, I, I'm good. I like to use masking tape in this heavy duty dispenser. I came up with this idea, by the way, of using this regular packing tape dispenser and filling it with masking tape. And you can find those in a link in the description. There's a little drop down box below the video that I have a whole bunch of pack and ship supplies. They're Amazon links, they're affiliate links. I get a small commission from what you buy and it helps support my channel. I just want you to know it doesn't cost you any more than what it costs me, so no markup or anything. Make sure these sides are secure. I put my thank you label on here. There you go, it's looking good. Now, let's get the box. This is a USPS box, box number seven. You know, it's kind of like a 12 by 12 by eight. Let me get it assembled. Let's do a test fit. I know they're gonna fit high wise It's a matter of how much room do we have around it that we need to fill in. So let's do that. 
starting with some air pillows in two rows so I have eight total and then I'm adding one square of the half inch large bubble wrap you can do it bubble facing up or down doesn't matter too much let's see if I still allow enough room for the top I've got enough room for a sheet of bubble wrap not any more air pillows it's the bottom that I believe takes the most impact but we do need to shore this up a little bit let's start with some air pillows just going to work my way around I love that see how easy that is compared to packing peanuts and trying to fit bubble wrap I might even fit another one in here I want it as tight as possible so any place that I feel that I can put my hand down there too easy that's where I'm going to put an air pillow the corners most likely <laughs> It's really, really looking great. Now I need something for the top. I couldn't put air pillows on the top, but I'm hoping I can fit two sheets of the half inch bubble wrap that gives another one inch of packing. I think it's gonna work because you want to press it down slightly. Give it the shake test <laughs> and it feels good. I think we've got this one. I'll get it taped up. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to like and subscribe and ring that bell for notifications and keep watching. There's more. The lamp sold. Mm-hmm. It sold. That means I have to pack it. One of the items that we sold is a lamp, a very big round lamp. So Mark's helping me here. I think it sold for full price, didn't it, Mark? I think. I believe I got it at the ReStore. So that's pretty cool and it's gonna be fun to pack <laughs> we paid eight dollars at the restore in johnson city tennessee let's check out the lamps most of which are too big for me to deal with for shipping i like little lamps there's a short one it's eight dollars it's kind of cool looking in fact look at that that's vintage this looks crooked i'd have to be straightened I might look that one up. I can't find this. And here's the irony. This looks pretty new, okay? But this is really old. And look at that base. That is so cool. And I don't know, is green on sale? Nope, green's full price. If it's not shipped or cracked, I might pick that up. I think I can put that at $49.95 or more. And it sold for full asking price of $69.99 plus shipping. What was I thinking when I bought this huge lamp? I was thinking vintage. I was thinking it was really cool. I was thinking mid-century modern. And I was thinking, what the heck am I thinking? <laughs> I might have to pack this someday. That day has come. The first thing that I like to do when I'm packing a lamp is to wrap the, the cord. So I've got some small bubble wrap. I'm just going to wrap it around here. Put a little bit of masking tape, hold in the end. Nothing too fancy. Want to wrap it so that it doesn't cause any damage to the lamp. Now, can I tuck this inside? Yes, I can, but you know how I feel about hollow areas, void areas, that part, you know? I have a couple of options. I could fill it with packing paper. I could fill it with bubble wrap. Bubble wrap's going to be lighter. And since I'm thinking about double boxing this, I think I'm going to use bubble wrap. I have no idea how much it's going to take, so I'm going to work with one sheet at a time. I need to rethink this. Maybe I need to get that inside first. It's pretty thick glass. I'm really not worried about it breaking. I'm gonna go to half sheet now. Almost have it. Just a little bit of room on the end. It's going to give birth to bubble wrap when they open it. Oh, sorry. Had to say it. I need to protect the neck of this uh, part of the lamp. I need a long piece of bubble wrap. I'm going to cut this in half. It's two sheets. So there you go, half sheet. I'm going to fold it. And this is fairly narrow. But I also want to protect the base, so I might just go with this. You see what I'm doing here? I'm trying to keep this folded in half. Wrap it underneath. It's coming unfolded. Got it. 
and taping it. Of course this fell out. I'll put it back in. Let's think about this part of the lamp. I've got this other long piece that I cut so why not fold it in half? You know when I'm doing packing I just think about it as I go. I don't always know. <laughs> I rarely know exactly what I'm going to do unless I've packed something like it before and I've never packed anything like this before. I just hope they don't just yank things off but I'll tell them probably to remove things carefully. I still need to put the bubble wrap back in here but I also need bubble wrap to put around it. Don't go anywhere. I have three sheets of the large bubble wrap and I can tell that I'm going to need a couple sheets going the opposite direction. No, it really doesn't feel that heavy. It looks heavy but I bet it weighs about maybe four pounds. Put this back inside now. Fold this up. Fold this up. Great. I'm going to be able to put some tape on here. I didn't know if it would reach. I'm going to tighten this up a little bit around the neck. Now we're ready to fold up the rest of the bubble wrap. Now I want this to stand up when I ship it. So I really want this as flat as possible. And this is really not fitting as well as what I would like. Remove a little bit. It's a little better. I know, it just looks like a whole bunch of bubble wrap right now, right? And I'm probably talking over the noise of the bubble wrap, so I do apologize. I don't know if I want this to overlap. I think I want them to butt. I'll explain why in just a little bit. Let's tape this. Add a little more tape to the sides. I need a long piece of tape long piece. I'm going to do this in two sections. Maybe a shorter piece here and a shorter piece here. That's pretty good. It's pretty good, huh? Let's put the thank you label on here before I forget. I have a tendency to do that. Almost. <laughs> Almost forget it quite a few times. Now how are we going to box this crazy thing? I mentioned that I want to double box it. Starting with an 8 by 8 by 8 Due to the height of the lamp, I couldn't double box. So instead, I used this 8 by 8 by 8 box to create a sleeve for the lamp to give it extra protection. Keep watching. I'll show you. Oh, I got a little bit high on this. Bummer. Bummer, bummer. Here's the 12 by 12 by 12 box. Here's the 8 by 8 by 8 box. See what I've got here. I'm trying to double box it. When I put this in here, the 12 by 12 by 12, I can absolutely close this up without any problem. But you can see all the room that I have around it and how much filler I would need. So this is what I'm thinking. I need some extra padding on the bottom and I'll need some on the top. So I'm going to take a square, because I don't have a lot of room, I'm going to take a square of the large half inch bubble wrap. Get this out of here. Right, so I have some bubble wrap in the bottom. What am I going to do to keep this from moving around? I have an idea. Something I've never done before. Surprise, surprise. This is the box that I had made up, you know, 8 by 8 by 8 I want to be able to slide this 8 by 8 by 8 box over top the lamp. And you can see that it's too high. So I need to take some off of, at both ends. It's about four and a half inches too long. The box is only about 12 inches deep. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these flaps off completely. Let's recheck this. I can always use these scraps, by the way, always. We are at 12 and a half. It's still too long. So let's take off a little bit on the other end, about an inch. Yes, I'm going to save these two. So what are we left with? We're left with under 12 inches, which is perfectly fine with me. We have the large half inch bubble wrap in the bottom. We're going to put our lamp in here in the center. Put one sheet of bubble wrap around it. And then I'm going to slide this sleeve that I made over top. And I'm going to have to put a note on here that this is a sleeve only. There's no bottom. I have to put a note on there. I'm going to do that right now. This is what I wrote. This is a sleeve only, no bottom. 
Lift sleeve before removing lamp. Will they read? I don't know. I hope so. I'm going to put this right on top of the lamp. And I'm going to put arrows pointing to the sleeves. Okay, I think I'm getting where I wanted to go with this. Now I just need to fill in this area around it. I could use air pillows or I could use packing peanuts. I am not a fan of these because <laughs> they're messy and I feel like the air pillows work so much better, but I'm going to use them today to fill around the perimeter. I hope this doesn't make a huge mess. Or at least work with a shoebox full at a time. Where's my big ice scoop when I need it? I already have some on the floor. I have to tell you, I'm pretty happy with how my shoebox dispenser worked. <laughs> In fact, I could put some down here if I wanted to. A little bit down there. Yeah, that worked out really well. And I pushed them down. I feel really good about the lamp and this sleeve that I made for it. Let's see how this bubble wrap fits on top. So that's about all I can get, although I might get a little piece of cardboard, maybe a little piece of cardboard in the center, just to help with any impact on top. The lamp was light. I don't know what I've done to the weight. Doesn't really matter. I'm not going to change the way that I'm shipping it. Let me guess at it. I'm guessing five to six pounds. I have to let you know on this one. We've got a big scale out in the garage. So I've just shown you something that I've never done before. I made an inner sleeve for a glass item. Would I have liked to have double boxed it? Absolutely. But I think it's going to be okay. I think the bottom is padded pretty well by how I wrap the lamp. I'm going to go weigh it. I'll be right back. So how much do you guess it weighed? With a sample label on top, to allow for that, it came in at 4.75 pounds. I'm going to round it up to five pounds in a 12 by 12 by 12 box. Whew. If you like pack and ship videos, I have over 50 videos on the pack and ship playlist on our channel, Avante Avenue, for small items, awkward items, glass and fragile items, and much more. So check it out. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue, and Mark and I will see you soon. Simple sales for good profit.